the Manly Street thug. Manly Street in Scunthorpe is unrecognisable compared to how it was in the early years of the 20th century. This area used to be a cramped place for living, which is similar to the apartments which are there today. However, the crimes have cut down a lot in the area over a century. William Rylat used to live in the crowded slum in 1911. William had a serious bad temper, which he placed it down to working long arduous hours. If ever William arrived home in a foul temper, he would start shouting and beating his wife Sarah, only something petty would annoy William, he was a wild man who loved his drink. Sarah prepared breakfast one morning for her brother, as she felt faint, Sarah decided to retire to bed. Sarah's daughter Jenny made a cup of tea to kindly give to her mother who was resting. When William observed Jenny's actions, he followed Jenny up the stairs. Before Jenny could open the bedroom door, William picked up the cup of tea of the saucer and spat in it. William then told Jenny she had to make a fresh cup. As Jenny walked down the stairs, William entered the bedroom. William glared at Sarah as he asked what are you doing? Sarah explained that she was not feeling too well and needed some time to rest. William then stood beside the bed overlooking Sarah, he grabbed Sarah by the hair and pulled her out of the bed. William used so much force, that Sarah hit the wall, before landing on the floor. William grabbed Sarah once again by the hair, and made her get up on her feet. William dragged Sarah out of the bedroom across the landing and downstairs all while he had hold of her hair. Once downstairs, William repeatedly beat his wife, going from one room to another as Sarah was trying to avoid William. This was absolutely horrific for Sarah, her screams echoed from out of the house to where the neighbours could hear. A neighbour Charles Lockwood, who worked as a builder, intervened due to the noise. Charles grabbed William and after a fair few punches, Charles and William made it outside, while still fighting each other. Sarah and her daughter left the property to seek refuge with a neighbor. Once Sarah had time to compose herself, Sarah decided to visit the police station and report the husband about his antics. After Sarah made her statement to the police with the proof of her bruising, Sarah made an appointment at the doctor's. Sarah had to go and see Dr. Reed. After the examination, Sarah went back to her home at 51 Manly Street. William was taken into custody. With the statements from Sarah and her witnesses, as well as the doctor's report, the case was taken to trial. Charles Lockwood was the first witness in the stand. When Charles was asked about the events, Charles said there had been two years of abuse within the household but none were as severe as that day. Charles also described how he had to step in to prevent William from beating his wife. When it came to William's turn in the stand, he admitted to some nasty behavior. William also mentioned another time he became violent towards Sarah. It was the day of his niece's wedding, when William had arrived back home, he found Sarah sitting on a stool as she waited for him. William with no hesitation pushed Sarah off the stool and started violently attacking her. Since that first attack, Sarah had been terrified of living in the same house as William. When it was Dr. Reed's turn in the stand, he mentioned that Sarah was badly bruised and was in a severe state of shock. Then a Mrs. Lowndes, a neighbor of Manly Street was called to the stand, she told the court that William Rylat was a cruel monster. When Jenny was called to the stand, she described her stepfather as being a complete animal. After the trial William served time in prison and things became quieter over the years at 51 Manly Street, even after William was released from prison. It is unknown if William had changed his ways, or if he decided to start a new life somewhere else.